Hey there guys, we've got something quite fun planned for today. Um, we're going to be trying to split some cards with a, with a PCP air rifle from 25 meters. Uh, but before we get started with that, let me explain why I'm making this video. Um, one of the most frequently asked questions that I get is, what is your most accurate rifle? Now I'm afraid that's a question that I, I cannot just answer straight because one day one gun will be more accurate and one day another gun will be more accurate and there's a good reason for this. When you talk about accuracy in an air rifle, you're talking about projectiles which are made of soft lead and so the interaction between the, the barrel of the gun and the pellet is very very important and that means that if there's any slight differences between different batches of pellets you can get completely different results. So for example JSB pellets shoot well in most guns but you might just find that one specific tin of JSB pellet shoots better than the other. Now that's not necessarily because the pellets are deformed in one of the tins, that's a possibility, but it's probably got to do with the, the way that the pellets came out of the die. If you look behind me here, you'll see a whole lot of my, of my rifles. Let's go take a closer look. So there at the top, we've got the Air Arms S410 TDR, put a Hawk red dot sight on it. We've got the Air Arms S510 Ultimate Sporter Extra. We've got the FX Impact and we've got the FX Wildcat. Now, one thing I will say is that at long range, I have not seen a gun that shoots better than that gun right over there, the FX Impact. It is just absolutely spot on at long range. And we'll talk about that in a different video. It's got to do with the, the, the smooth twist barrel and the, the twist rate of that pellet. Um, but you'll see there's a, a space there where there's a missing gun. And that space is supposed to be occupied by my Day State Wolverine, which is currently outside. We're going to be using the Wolverine today because I found a batch of pellets that just shoots absolutely perfectly out the Wolverine. So at the moment, that is my most accurate 25 meter gun. So let's go outside and um, let's see what we can do with the Wolverine. Right, so here's the, here's the plan for today. Day State Wolverine, 25 meter shooting range, some outdated business cards. Um, I actually got these printed for, for RWA, but back then I had 55,000 subscribers and now I think I've got about 65,000, so I must uh, up, update these. I can destroy those old ones. Um, and then I've got two different batches of of Air Arms pellets here, which are pellets made in the JSB factory. Um, the one batch on the right, um, I've reserved for some of my other rifles. This batch shoots better out of my other rifles. It's a batch with um, thinner skirts. But this batch that I've marked with a, a green sticker, I've got a whole lot of these green sticker tins inside, um, come out of a different die to the other batch. And as a result, their skirts are a little bit thicker. The group from the thin skirt pellets. It's pretty good. That's probably about a quarter inch or something like that. But this group is just absolutely crazy. Um, that's, that's pretty much the size of, of one pellet at 25 meters. You do not get better than that. This was a, a bench rest match. That would be a bullseye every single time. Um, so let's do it. Let's set up some, um, some of these cards down range. Let's get the magazine filled and let's take some shots. But before we get started, there's just one thing I want to show you here quickly. So if you look at my rifle, you can see that I've got some new scope rings attached. Now these are sports match rings. They're extremely well made. Um, and if you look up top here, I've got a, a bubble level attached. Now what's nice about this is that you purchase it as a, a separate piece. You remove two of the screws from your um, existing scope ring and you just attach this piece right on. And what it allows you to do is to get your rifle perfectly vertical um, so that you don't have any cant error. It's hugely important if you're doing something like this where you require perfect precision. So we are gonna start off with three cards right over here. Um, I'm gonna walk down range and set them up. And we're gonna, we're gonna, it's gonna be difficult to see them through the scope. So I'm gonna have to put the scope at, at full magnification, but then obviously you know, put them like that and just try and split them right down the middle. Uh, it's going to be a serious challenge, but uh, I do believe that this gun can do this. We're going to start off with just three cards, see if we can get three in a row, and if that's too easy, then we're going to put five in a row, see if we can do that. 
Now, believe it or not, it's actually quite difficult to set up cards for something like this. Not only do they have to be perfectly aligned with my line of shooting, but I have to make sure that they don't get bent when I'm sticking them to the metal frame. But it only takes a few minutes to set up and in no time we are ready to get shooting. Right, the camera downrange is rolling. Let's see if we can get this done. Nailed it. Very, very happy with that. We got, we got our three in a row. Here they are right over here. And that, my friends, is how you split business cards from 25 meters with a PCP air rifle. Check how thin those things are. You gotta have a really, really accurate gun to get that done. Next challenge. Let's see if we can get this done with five cards. Um, it's going to be much more difficult to do. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> right, for round two, what we are going to do is just refill the magazine in case we need to take extra shots, in case I miss a few. And then we're also going to fit the Casio scope cam to the scope and uh, film downrange through the scope at 20 times magnification. So hopefully you'll be able to see uh, the cards being split from, from this perspective. Um, I'm using the Orion camera mount today simply because the Eagle Vision cam does not attach to this scope. This should be good enough. Right, so it turns out at 240 frames per second, you can actually see the cards fairly clearly at, at 20 times magnification. So let's hit record and take some shots. Ah, there you go. Perfect. Oh, just to the right, I think. I think I pulled that one. Let's try this again. Okay. Let's ditch the scope cam, that's not working. Let's try to get the last two without the scope cam. There you go. Last one. <laughs> Perfect. So as you can see, uh, shooting through the scope cam definitely made up my job a lot more difficult. Uh, but when I took the scope cam off, every shot I took without the scope cam, I absolutely nailed. And um, there you go, the results look pretty good. First card, hit it nicely over there, but as you can see, I don't know if the card was tilted or if we just hit it along the side, but it didn't necessarily uh, cut through cleanly. Number two was perfect. Number three, 
same story see we just nicked it along the side there and it didn't cut through cleanly number four I'll show you what happened to number four soon number five perfect here's number four at the back that is crazy it flew off at such a high speed that it actually stuck itself into the wood I have never seen something like that before <laughs> that is crazy piece of paper pinning into the wood so that is all for today guys I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it it's probably one of the more fun videos that I've ever done and um, talking about fun videos I've got some incredibly awesome hunting trips coming up um, I've got an, an, F, an FX um, Royale Extreme arrow gun on its way to me so that means you're going to be going out into wildest Africa and shooting all kinds of um, insane animals, warthog, bush pig, maybe impala, springbuck, you name it. We're going to go after it. Um, should be awesome, something totally different from what you're used to seeing on this channel. So subscribe to be notified of those uploads and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.